you are welcome to my channel thanks for sharing subscribing and listening to this very presentation today i'll be talking about malaria epidemiology you can check these uh, links to get more pieces of info on malaria there are more presentations that will be published by me but for now on HIV and malaria, you can click on this link for malaria control, click on this one. And for malaria vaccine, because some are asking the question, some arguments, whether we have vaccine or not, you can click on this link. Malaria is a tropical problem. Nearly found in close to 90 countries, but Greater than 90% of the total cases will be found in Africa alone. Less than 10% will be found in Southeast Asia with Eastern Mediterranean regions. Only less than 1% will be found in Western Pacific and America. The effect of migration. Tourism and tourists I've changed the map of the epidemiology of malaria by taking the disease from one region to the other. For example, the hepatitis chrysons can remain for many months and the affected persons can become sick in the new region, e.g. from India or Sub-Saharan Africa to Europe or North America. The persistency may be difficult to keep because the absence of the female anovelis mosquito will end the transmission to others in the West, in Europe and North America. Bats will be transported from the endemic zones, Southeast Asia and Africa to the West. Mortality. More than 200 million cases each year between 2010 to 2019 have been recorded, and more than 430,000 deaths was recorded in 2016 by World Health Organization. However, there's a drop in mortality from 430 in 2016 to 400,000 in 2019. Determine factors. For us to be able to say that there will be malaria in a zone or not, it must be a factor of the number of mosquitoes, particularly the number of female anopheles mosquitoes, the biting habits, and the lifespan of the female anopheles mosquitoes. Seasons. Some have seasonal transmission, like very common during the rainy season, and in some regions, it is perennial. That is, it's constantly you know, available. I mean, mosquitoes will be there throughout the year. Bite times. Bites do occur mostly between dusk and dawn. Transmission. Transmission will be a factor of bites from mosquito and there could be vertical or congenital transmission from the mother to the fetus. Also, blood transmission without proper screening with peripheral blood smears, sharing of needles, organ transplantation. Imagine someone being transplanted with liver having the hepatitis chrysons and also common transmission, that is the acquisition of this infection while taking a treatment in the hospitals. So Saharan Africa. I've started to define this very clearly because we'll be making reference to that a lot. So Saharan Africa means that all African countries below the Sahara. It is the larger part of Africa. Anovelis Gambiae. Anovelis Gambiae in Africa are there in high density. They can breathe very fastly. They rest and bite in the house and will rather bite humans. Anthropophilic. Polymerase chain reaction. The use of polymerase chain reaction has proven 
that endemicity is greater than a zone in some regions of the world. Note this. Appropriate screening with blood peripheral smears will be fine, and that is, that is uh, enough to deter the presence of the plasmodium, and then lead us to appropriate action. Determinants of the degree of endemicity. The level of parasitemia and the palpable spleen in children ages 2 to 9 will give us the clue to the degree of endemicity. Now, if the endemicity could either be mesoendemic when it's about 11 to 50 percent, or hyperendemic when it's between 51 and 74 percent, or oloendemic when it's greater than 75 percent. Types of plasmodium. Plasmodium could be Plasmodium falciparum, vivas, malary, ova, nolesi, or simium. Plasmodium falciparum is mostly found in India, Sub-Saharan Africa, New Guinea, East Asia, Hispaniola, and Oceania. Plasmodium vivas, on the other hand, is found in North America, Latin America, Western Pacific, India, East Asia, and Oceania. Plasmodium malaria is not so common. But when it is found, it will be found in Sub Saharan Africa. Plasmonium ovale is relatively uncommon, found only in Africa. Plasmonium noelis is found in Malaysia, Philippines, Thailand, and Myanmar. Plasmonium simium is similar to Plasmonium vivus, it is found in Brazil. In conclusion, it is fair to say that malaria is known worldwide, but it is a major health problem in Africa, particularly in Sub Saharan Africa. Asians are not left out because they are feeling the heat, particularly Southeast Asia, and also the Western world, that is Europe and North America, have a test to tourism. Like I've explained earlier, some would have left the endemic zone with a party sky zone only to come down to western world and then have the full-blown erythrocytic stage with signs of symptoms of malaria but spreading it is limited because even through blood transfusion organ donation screening will be done with that i've come to the end of this representation please follow the links remember to subscribe to my channel i appreciate it